Good morning, friends. I thought I would check in since it's been a few days since I did a daily bread. It is Friday morning, and I'm wondering um, this Friday morning how you're feeling. If it's been a really good week or a really busy week or a week where you're traveling or a week where you're working or a week where you're homesick. I mean, we've got just about every head thing happening for people this week, and and uh, I just thought I'd check in. Uh, for me, it's been a really busy week. I'm not really sure why that is since it's summer. Um, but it's also been kind of a enlightening week. I uh, came across a verse in Exodus where uh, it's talking about Moses and Jethro, which would be the father-in-law. Um, and Jethro talking to Moses and saying, um, essentially that he's doing too much and that he's going to burn himself out and his people. <laughs> um, and it was a verse that spoke to me because I think sometimes we do a lot, um, at Bethlehem and that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Um, but I also forget sometimes that we just need seasons where we slow down a little bit and rest and stop and, um, reevaluate and listen to what God is up to. And, uh, so I'm here on a Friday working, which I shouldn't be, um, but, um, hoping to finish up my sermon that I started working on yesterday and then head home for, um, the rest of the day. But, um, a couple of verses I wanted to share with you this morning, um, uh, from Romans 12. And they say this. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Um, that's the NIV version, just because that was what I was able to quickly pull up this morning. But uh, a couple of thoughts on that. Uh, our bodies as a living sacrifice. Sometimes um, if we're, we're uh, people who like to work hard, our bodies get tired and worn out. And uh, these verses can remind us um, to take care of our bodies and to um, treat them well. So... Um, whether that's too much work or not enough exercise or not eating the healthiest foods or whatever it is for your body, I want to invite you um, just for a, just for even a minute this morning to close your eyes and just breathe. Um, to breathe in, let's do a breath prayer of, um, let's do my favorite one. If you breathe in, spirit fill me. And breathe out, spirit, cleanse me. So we'll take a breath in and out. And again, in. And out. And I invite you to listen to what your body is saying today. So where in your body might you be holding tension? Where in your body might you be sore? Where in your body are you feeling energy? Um, and take some time this morning to give thanks for the body that you've been given. Whether that's um, a body that's young and able to do lots of things and has lots of energy. Or that's a body that's older and um, maybe doesn't have as much energy as it used to. Although I think some of, some of our friends at Bethlehem that are older have more energy than our younger people do some days. But um, I hope today's a day where you can appreciate um, the body God has given you and that you can treat that body well and that you can remember that you are loved and cared for um, by the God who created you and eat you together in your mother's womb. Have a blessed Friday, friends. We'll see you next time.